Hey, welcome back to another Fallen Tree Outdoor Fish Report. Uh, Y'all are going to want to hit that like and subscribe button right there. Hit it. Uh, we have some pretty exciting news heading your way. Um, we have a giveaway for prizes once a week for nine weeks. Uh, it's going to be uh, with the fishing aspect of things for Lake Winnebago. So make sure you guys stay tuned here right after this. We're going to jump right into that uh, giveaway, see what's going on, all about that. And then after the giveaway, we're going to get into the fishing reports. Um, but with that being said, I just want to say thanks for all the guides and the bait shops who are, are on board with this, who helped out donating and stuff and all that stuff. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, Mark, Voluntary Outdoors. Uh, my partner, Matt, and I, um, we have talked to a few of the bait shops, and we have a couple guides on board. We're going to be starting a new weekly giveaway starting in June. It'll run through June and July. So update here, uh, we actually have two free guide trips. Um, one we're gonna give away the first week winner and then we're gonna give the other free guide trip at the end of this whole thing along with a couple other uh, prizes along with the last one. But we do have two free guide trips. We have four guide trips in total. The other two are gonna be heavily discounted uh, guide trips just to give everyone a heads up. Um, also, the guide trip that we're giving away for the first week, uh, that is going to be for June 13th. So if that date does not work for the first week winner, um, give us a, a shout and we can try to reschedule it for a later date. Um, it just is preferred by the, the guide who is going to be giving that week, that free guide trip away. That's a uh, Winnebago walleye fishing. He uh, prefers, like I said, June 13th and don't work we can uh we can work with it a little bit but just give us a heads up all right back to you mark um we would like to have anybody who wants to participate there's no entry fee there's no forms to fill out all it simply is is each week while you're fishing um if you can create a 30 second to two and a half minute video of either you catching the fish which would be the best video or if you can at least just have a, a little clip after you've caught the fish with you holding it you know kind of explaining what you caught it on whether it's your biggest fish your first fish um most memorable fish whatever whatever the reason is you know just send us a little clip of it um we're going to be picking weekly for nine weeks the fisher person of the week and that person who's picked will get uh well prizes that we have got together uh, some gift certificates some lures jig packages, fishing trips, um, some discounted and one is 100% free. So we'll run that for nine consecutive weeks, starting in June through July. Um, after, Ju after July is commenced, um, beginning in August, we will have a random draw of all the weekly winners. So there'll be nine weekly winners. We will take and randomly draw from that group of weekly fisher people and it will be for a fully guided trip uh out fishing uh we will go along with you one of us either matt or myself will go along we will video the whole thing so you'll have a nice little video of your own fishing trip of all the fish you've caught we'll also post it up so other people can see all the fish and how expert of a fisherman you are um this is just meant to be fun there's like i said there's no entry fee there's no forms to fill out what you have to do is create a little short video send a picture too if you have it as well but we need a video clip of at least 30 seconds long, up to two and a half minutes. Um, just showing the, either catching the fish, holding the fish, explaining what happened when you caught the fish, etc. And we will review them each week and then we will pick the fisher person of the week. And then that person will win for that week, that prize. And then you'll be entered into the final drawing for the fishing trip, uh, fully guided. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact us through our Facebook page at uh, Fallen Tree Outdoors. You can, that's, that's also where you're going to send in your video clip. You're going to send it through Messenger to us. We find that Messenger is the easiest method to get video content uh, shared. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can also contact us through our page. Um, we'll have a we'll be creating a post about it. You can either ask questions in the comments, or you can just send us a um, message on uh, Messenger. We'll have some more details of the of the giveaways in the next coming weeks on our fish reports. 
And then we'll also do a live stream just before the um, giveaway is going to start in June. So probably look for that towards the end of May here. Um, we'll have an announcement for it. And we'll do a live stream, Matt and I, and then you guys can ask questions um, in, the, in the comments section down below. Um, any questions that you have, uh, how it's going to work. So just trying to get people, you know, more actively involved, you know, let them enjoy being out in the outdoors, let people see each other what we're catching. Um, the fishing does be on Lake Winnebago. My duck just jumped out of his cage. Come here, Howard. Here, buddy. Oh. Howard, he's famous. Good buddy. Um, he's not included in the giveaways, by the way. Um, yeah, so let's just keep this fun. Let's, you know, make some uh, good videos together. All right, so let's get into fish reports. Um, uh, I talked to Ryan from Crazy Eye Guide Service. He had this video to share. What's up, everybody? Captain Ryan Foster here, Crazy Eye's Guide Service, with this week's fishing report. I apologize to Matt. I told him I'd send him over a video last night. I completely forgot about it. But um, I was out on Bagel. I've been out there the last two days. I am not going out there today just because I've got other priorities going on. But uh, fishing's still really good. I mean, Bagel's actually setting up awesome as far as I'm still chasing windblown structures where I'm fishing. Um, that's kind of always the type of fisherman I've been. So you guys can target any of those structures where there's wind on it. Um, those walleyes have been setting up on there. Uh, also, we've got weeds starting to come into play. Weed growth is a key thing. Um, up on that northeast end of the lake and uh, where I like to normally fish a lot, those walleyes are starting to stage there as well. Water temps, if you guys haven't noticed, are crawling up, and that means walleyes are moving to the mud. So all you trollers out there, get ready. Um, there is fish actually out there. I've stopped. I've marked some. I have not fished them yet, but they are there. Um, also, fish are still coming back and working their way through the system, so don't be afraid to hit that river up. Fly pulling is still very effective. Dragging jigs is awesome. And one of my favorite things to do, which has always been a fun thing for us, probably all of us growing up as kids, is just slip bobbers. Keep it simple. Crawler and um, leech working awesome. I have not done that yet this year, but uh, it is very effective, especially if you're on top of those reef tops jigging. Um, Matt also has got a lot of great things going on um, as far as he's changing changing some things i am giving away some guide trips or i've got uh discounted guide trips so matt will explain that i'm giving away a half day or a full day trip for a half day rate so take advantage of that make sure you guys are liking and sharing uh, these posts get over to uh, everyone else even the bait shops that are jumping on this and the guys and give it a like um at least you guys can do for the information you guys are getting um and hope to see you guys on the water if uh, you're looking for dates and stuff to get on the water hit me up see you later Thanks, Ryan. Um, uh, my partner, Mark, was able to get out on Lake Winnebago over the weekend, and that's what he had to say. Hey, guys. Uh, quick update for the fish report this week. So went out to Winnebago on Friday and Saturday. I believe it's the two days I went out. Yes. Um, Friday, caught a couple walleyes. Um, not much moving. It was pretty crappy out there. Saturday went out, uh, ran crawler harnesses and flicker shads. We started picking up a lot of sheephead on the crawler harnesses. So we switched more to the flicker shads. Uh, every color was working. We caught catfish, got a couple small walleyes. We were also on the west side. We went out of black wolf. Um, and again, I just we were catching a ton of sheephead. Um, kind of a Crappy setup. Um, I don't fish over on the west side too often, but for whatever reason, I pick up a lot more sheephead over there. Uh, ranged from 1.2 to 1.4 miles an hour again. We did speed up a little bit. Um, didn't catch anything. Slowed back down. Started getting sheephead again. Small walleye. Um, outside of that, can't really say anything about colors or presentation because it seems like everything was working because it was catching everything but walleyes uh, we did catch walleye on uh, crawler harnesses purples again um, flicker shads black and orange uh, fire tiger and blue and silver those all worked good luck to you guys and we'll keep you updated next week i talked to travis from that's a keeper sports fishing he had this video to share Hey guys, Travis here with That's Keeper Sport Fishing. I uh, just want to give you an update from the past weekend. Uh, Winnebago is 
on fire as well. Uh, trolling shallow rocks, uh, number five flicker shad, number five flicker minnows, jigging, leeches, crawlers, um, casting cranks, uh, casting a shiver minnow Sunday and caught a few fish already. So I'm openings. Um, this weekend I'm full obviously with tournament, but next couple weekends I got a few days open. So if you want to get out, re you reach me at 920-858-0781. Thank you. Thanks Travis for that video. Uh, I also talked to Ryan from Winnebago Walleye Fishing. This is what he had to say. Hey guys, Captain Ryan Flom here with your weekly fishing report. The walleye fishing on the Winnebago system has been on fire the last week. Uh, everywhere we've gone, stopped, tried, has caught walleyes. We've fished on the upper river lakes trolling, caught a bunch of fish. A lot of nice fish caught, a lot of think so too. Fished on the main lake in four feet of water, caught a bunch of nice fish. Caught them out in the mud trolling harnesses. So I think wherever you want to go right now, you can catch fish. Just put your time in and figure it out. I do have quite a few openings coming up. Um, if you want to get out, give me a call, 920-740-3909. Thanks. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, I also talked to Danielle from Penzi Outdoor Guide Service. Uh, I said that the fishing continues to be fantastic. 50-plus uh, walleye day has been a common thing recently. said, uh, don't be afraid to go shallow, uh, especially when there is some, some wind. Uh, key in on the wind-blowing rocky areas and you will find the, the walleye there uh, trolling uh, salmos, number fours, uh, hornets, and flicker shads has been his preferred method of uh, finding them. Good old walleye. Thank you, Danielle. All right, let's get to the bait shops. Uh, I talked to Bill Lodi. The east side is really starting to fire up with uh, a lot of walleyes being caught. Uh, people are trolling uh, flicker minnows, fives and sevens and size four salmos have been producing quite a few good sized perch, I mean fish. <laughs> People are catching walleye in the evening, casting stick baits and small little Cleo's spoons off of Calumet County Park and Stockbridge. Uh, I was out by Stockbridge and Calumet Park uh, this past weekend, same story. People were out there, they're casting um, right at sunset. They said they were biting pretty hard out there. Um, I had to get going so I didn't get to experience that, but. Uh, a lot of people are out there trying to catch those walleyes off of Stockbridge and Calumet County Park area. Um, also using uh, leeches and lighted slip bobbers after dark or else catching walleye. Um, some big old walleyes are being caught right now. Reports of 24 to 26 inches of walleyes are being caught. Don't forget the Saturday in Fond du Lac at Lake Psych Park is the annual kids fishing clinic put together by Foot of the Lake Fishing, fishing Club and sponsored by Rippin' Lips Outdoors. So, so far over 60 kids are signed up for the event. Um, Sunday is the second Winnebago Walleye Series tournament out of pipe as well. So just a little heads up for everyone with that. Um, I also talked to Ma's Bait and Tackle. Uh, the white bass are still hitting really good in the rivers, especially the last few days with this nice warm weather that we've had. Um, also some rumblings and people talking about some of the white bass have been uh, they're not hard anymore, they've done their thing, but that's not verified. Um, the bluegills are hitting with, uh, in the shallow sluice areas, they're uh, little plastics or red worms with a slip, hop, slip hopper. Um, catfish are doing really good, stink bait for numbers and cup bait for size of the catfish to be caught. So keep that in mind if you guys are gonna head out and get some of those fish. Uh, talk to fish deals. Walleyes are on fire in the, in the main lake right now, just trying to use anything from a jig plastic in the rocks or to a, a crawler harness in the mud flats were working as well. White bass are still in the rivers pretty hard and the panfish bite has been sporadic here and there. I uh, talked to critters over by Lake Poygan area. Uh, walleye in the river are doing really well. People are still getting their 12 to 17 inchers. Uh, may take a little bit sometimes, but they're still getting their limits out there um, on the pier or in the river on their boats. Uh, Lake Poygan itself, people are using flies, uh, crawler, crawler harnesses, slip bobbers seems to be doing really well in Lake Poygan as well. Lake Butamore has been relatively pretty slow for some reason, uh, not taking as many fish as uh, Lake Poygan. Also, people are using slip bobbers in the main lake. Uh, that's taking good fish. Uh, white bass are hitting pretty good, not super hard, but doing well. Uh, still getting in a good amount if you put your time in. Uh, going for white bass. Crappies and bluegills bite is sporadic there too, hit and miss. Um, 
This is one of our reports from our local fishermen, uh, Parker Summers. Walleye bite has been excellent on the lake, even with some white bass uh, already in the lake. They are hitting ag aggressive baits like uh, ripping wraps or blade baits. Uh, thanks. I talked to Mason Springer. He gave this report. There's still a lot of eater class walleyes on rocks along with along the uh, west shore of Winnebago. Uh, he caught most of his fish uh, using crankbait casting in five to eight feet of water. Uh, he also caught a bunch of fish uh, snap jigging the reefs with plastics. Hey all really looking forward to the fishing giveaway that we got going on here. Um, I think it's going to be a fun time, a good, uh, good event for everyone here. Uh, get to give away some pretty cool uh, guide, guide trips and some other tackle for uh, your arsenal to hit the lakes up with. Um, put on by all the generous guides that we have around the area and the generous bait shops that we have here. It's a good, uh, a good community that we got going on here. Uh, just trying to create a, a larger community so everybody can get out and enjoy the outdoors and everybody can experience it together. Be a good time. Uh, but thank you again for watching the Fish Report. Uh, tight lines this weekend and uh, have fun.